Hey there, it's Lon at the Toy Temple, and this year's been kind of crazy. We've had a lot of bad, but some good too. Lots of releases, and yet it's never been harder to shop in stores. Decisions are hard. Articulation versus accessories. New characters versus characters that we haven't seen in years. What goes into ranking these action figures? Is four really better than seven? Who knows? Why do I do it? Why do I torture myself with such things? It's mostly because it's easy content and I've already bought the action figures. But between you and me, it's for the fans. Months of effort, hunting, collecting, lots of effort went into this video. And I usually save this part till the end, but if you could do me a favor and just, you know, give me a like or subscribe, I'd really, really appreciate it. And as you can see to my left here, the scrolling list of figures I've bought throughout the year. So let's shrink that list down by quite a bit. And that way we can get to the top 10 action figures of 2020. First, a few rules. Number one, I actually have to own the figure. I can't just look online and go, oh, yeah, that's the figure of the year because I, have, I don't have it in my hands. Thus, I can't rate it. Number two, it actually has to be released in 2020. As bad as this year is, I still have to rate things from this year. I can't just buy an action figure from 2002 and go, that's the figure of the year right there. Can't do that. And then this is not a top 11. This is a top 10. So I can't just cheat and throw two things in the same spot. It's a top 10, not a top 11. I'm also going to be doing things a little bit differently this year, and I've got this very special official award to hand out for things that are either deserving of recognition, whether it be good or bad. So let's crack open this top 10, and I hope you'll join me. And a few runners up. I mean, while these figures are awesome, releases this year were really tough, and this is not my top 10, but I couldn't find a way to make them fit into my actual top 10. So just consider these like the 11 through 20. You know, you got Sunfire, you got little Baby Yoda. Ah, they're falling. Baby Yoda, Red Hulk, Han Solo and Carbonite, Ranger Slayer, who I never actually got to review, uh, Silver Centurion, Retro Carded Spider-Man. We got Green Psycho, White Dino Thunder. You know, this is the 11 through 20. We'll just, we'll just call it that. Starting off the list at number 10 is the Diamond Select Rocketeer. Sure, he's got a goofy civilian face sculpt, but the fact that a Rocketeer action figure exists is just so cool. I found him at Walgreens, and this 7-inch figure is perfect for busting up any World War II villains you might have laying around. I'd say the fire effects and that helmet definitely propel this figure into the top 10. And our first award for Best Action Figure Sale of the Year goes to GameStop for their May Overwatch clearance event. Fresh off the shutdown during March and April, came a wave of clearance figures and props ripe for the picking. Mostly Overwatch, but the Ultimates line was anywhere from 70 to 90% off. A four pack of figures for $3.74? Don't mind if I do. Add to that Dragon Ball Z and Power Rangers and it became the perfect storm of savings. Stepping out of the shadows at number nine, we have the Shadow Stormtrooper from the Star Wars The Black Series line. The classic Stormtrooper design, but with a sleek sparkly black look. Shoulder pads and a paint job that adds a fun glow effect combined with translucent arms, legs, and midsection made this a must-have figure for me. Though his accessories were a bit lacking, this dark figure was definitely a bright spot for the line. And the award for best action figure I bought all year that was not from 2020 is the Overwatch Ultimate's Reinhardt. For $8 brand new, this massive mammoth of molded metal was something I absolutely had to have. Build a figure scale, giant hammer, and a force field shield are incredible accessories for an already beefy figure. Now I've never played Overwatch, but when it comes to a figure of this size and scale, how hard is it for me to pass something up like this? This is incredible. And at number eight, we have, uh, ah, we have the Sugar Man Build-A-Figure straight from the pages of Age of Apocalypse. Four articulated arms, long, ugly tongue, red eyes, devil horns, and a face only a mother could love makes this the most unique looking figure of 2020. This thing is so ugly, my wife can't even look at it. Hasbro might have gotten a little bit lazy with these legs, but the overall look is just so terrifying. And the fact that it's a Build-A-Figure may be cheating, but it was sold in stores just across seven figures. 
And for biggest rebound of 2020, it has to come from the Dino White Thunder helmet fiasco. In mid-2020, Hasbro released a figure that was missing some pretty major paint apps. However, they allowed for those who bought the unpainted Ranger to receive a new painted helmet free of charge, and that alone deserves some recognition. Chock full of accessories and a classic design, number 7 is the deluxe Marvel Legends War Machine. This War Machine is built onto the 80th anniversary Iron Man buck, and it's quickly becoming a favorite of mine. Add to that a civilian head, blast effects, rockets, bullets, smoke effects, what more could you ask for? And for best custom of 2020, I guess it's the Dr. Octopus mod I made. <laughs> Basically, I bought some USB book lights and gave Dr. Octopus the articulated arms he so rightly deserves. A cheap fix that takes a good figure and makes it great. And in at number 6, from the depths of hell, we have the Mortal Kombat McFarlane Toys Spawn. I'm usually not a fan of the McFarlane style, but with the Fortnite and DC licenses, They've really stepped up their game, and I'm certainly taking notice. This spawn has solid paint, great articulation for McFarlane, a cool design overall, and while mine came with a sword, if yours has the axe or mace or whatever, I think you're doing just fine. Same great figure, same great taste. Its 7-inch scale may be a bit too big for your Marvel Legends or Black series, but I'm dreaming of a shelf full of 7-inch figures with this guy as the centerpiece. At number 5, we have Snake Eyes from the G.I. Joe Classified series. Half ninja, half sharpshooter, half assassin, half... Wait. Look, I've said it once and I'll say it again. I wasn't a fan of G.I. Joe's growing up, so when a figure with no emotional attachment to me makes it this high up on my list, you should for sure take notice. This figure is armed to the teeth, has great ninja-like articulation, and a slick black paint job like a luxury sports car that knows karate. Snake Eyes is the first wave of the classified series that has actually single-handedly gotten my attention, and I'm excited to see what this line has to offer. If knowing is half the battle, then I'm going to keep my eye out for more great G.I. Joe releases. And the worst idea for a 5-pack this year goes to the Lightning Collection Psycho Rangers. Like seriously, okay, it's Amazon exclusive, black, Yellow, pink, they hadn't been released yet. Gee Hasbro, thanks for punishing early buyers like me who already bought Psycho Red and Blue. Look, I'm not against an idea for the five pack. No, 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 I wanted the whole team. I just wanted them to release black, yellow, and pink separately for collectors that already bought red and blue early and aren't willing to double dip. And in at number four, shattering the grid, we have Lord Draken from the Lightning Collection, Evolution 3. Yet another Tommy to collect with the Lightning Collection, but what a Tommy it is! Lightning, broken helmets, Saba with removable head, and an unmasked civilian head as well? A solid lineup of accessories, and the figure itself has some great articulation. And you might remember that this character made an appearance on last year's Top 10 as well. I have a type, and I'm not gonna apologize for my Tommy love. And the award for best accessory this year is Baby Yoda from the Toy Box Mandalorian. Toy Box is cute, Baby Yoda, cute. And when you combine the two, it makes me sound like I sound when I see kittens sleeping next to ducklings. It's embarrassing, but this, this is cute. At number three, we have the Walmart exclusive Marvel Legends Black Widow. A fun 90s design of a character most only know from the MCU movies. Black Widow is rocking the gray suit and comes fully loaded with accessories and weaponry. Complete with a gorgeous face sculpt and multiple wrist shooters, it's hard to turn down such a complete figure. Now if they could only figure out double jointed elbows. Swinging in at the runner up spot at number 2 we have the Diamond Select PS4 Spider-Man action figure. I was torn between the retro carded Marvel Legends Spider-Man or this guy, so to answer the question, well I, of course, look to the accessories. Three sets of hands, a cell phone, web trap, and a spider bot. While the Marvel Legend is great, this just has so much stuff! And yeah, while I had to edit the articulation, the fact that it was so easily fixed gives it quite the edge. I do have to say, this is the third 7-inch scale figure I've put on this list. Am I feeling okay? Like... And now, without further ado, the number one spot on the top 10 2020 action figures is... The Super Scroll Wave Marvel Legends Doctor Doom. Yes. I mean, come on, I've been begging for this exact figure since the early days of this channel. The last release of Doctor Doom took place in 2012, 
and this updated every bit of that figure and makes it an absolute must-have if you collect Marvel Legends. Doom comes with punching power fists, two heads, one modern and one classic, and a shooty gun. I'm so happy to finally have this one in my collection, and from the moment I bought it, I said, for right now, I've got this beautiful Doctor Doom, and you know what score I'm going to give it. It's a 5 out of 5. This, this is the, uh, the top contender for best action figure of the year so far. So joining the likes of The Thing and Donatello, Doctor Doom finds his way at the top of the list. From the deco, to the new sculpt, to the accessories, to the fact that I just love Doctor Doom, makes this the top action figure of 2020 and a must have for anyone out there collecting. So there you have it, my top 10 of 2020. What'd you think? Did you want more accessories? Did you want more articulation? Different companies? I mean, there were two Diamond Select this year. That's pretty crazy for two years without them. Lots of Marvel Legends, Black Series made it, Lightning Collection, always. As soon as that debuted, that, you knew that was happening. What'd you think? Let me know down in the comments. What made the list? What didn't make the list? What'd you buy that made your list? You tell me, I'd love to hear it from you. Leave a comment down below. Check me out on Instagram and Twitter, both at The Toy Temple. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to this video because you know what? 2021, I hope it's better than 2020. But with your help, maybe it will be. So with that, thank you so much for watching. And remember, you're never too old to enjoy the things you love and have a happy and safe 2021.